Hey, good evening, everybody. I am Michael G, or you might know me as my uh, YouTube personality, the foul mouth, insane the chef. I'm here with uh, with Mr. Black Bigot. You may know him as uh, also AKA Black Muffin Top, AKA Black Bugatti. Uh, any, any other names? Uh, Black Baloney, Black, Black Baloney. Bastard, uh, and other names that I, we won't mention in this uh, curse-free video. Yes, curse-free video. Today's topic of this vlog is Adam the Woo. Adam the Woo here. The Daily Woo. Um, so we decided we wanted to talk about Adam the Woo. There's lots to talk about Adam the Woo. Uh, I know he almost has a cult following. Yeah, he uh, he did. As a matter of fact, I found out about his cult following uh, when I did a video about um, being in Hollywood with him and kind of mentioned his name in some uh, titles of my videos and I got a lot of uh, rough comments on them. Yes, yes. Uh, the the Wuvians, uh, they call themselves. He uh, has 153,000 protectors on the Daily yes, Woo channel. Yes, on the Daily Woo, yes. and then 360 or 70 on this main they channel. They love them, they love them, they love them, they love them, they love them. So, some of the things we were going to discuss today about Adam the Woo is why people like Adam the Woo. Uh, what's the draw to Adam the Woo? Uh, why has he became such a popular figure on YouTube? Um, with the cult following, we'll call it. Um, I know that I've seen some of his videos where he's at, uh, doing a, a, a meet and greet. There'll be thousands of people there in, in the middle of a mall in the middle of Texas uh, or wherever he's at. It's, it's almost unbelievable. Like I was rock star in, status. I was in San Antonio when he uh, had a meet up there. And I swear to God, at that time, I didn't know who Adam DeWu was. I only heard of Adam DeWu because of Dave Hughes mentioning him in his videos. And when I seen, I was going to go to the mall where he was, he was with the carpet bagger. And I was going to go there and, you know, pretend to be like a fanboy. I was going to make my own video. And I noticed that the line to meet him went like around like the mall. I, I, and I know that Adam, uh, he was formerly in the band Guttermouth. And I, I literally thought he was such a famous musician that all, that was all his um, fans, so to speak. But it wasn't fans right. from the music. It was fans from YouTube. And if... We are talking about the, the band Guttermouth. He was a part of that. Uh, he was also, earlier on, in, another, in a local band. Uh, and we'll get into a little bit of where Adam came from. Uh, but he was in a band, a local band, there in St. Cloud or uh, Kiss Me area of Florida. Then somehow, I'm not sure exactly how he linked up with Guttermouth. Uh, he met Justin Scard, linked up with Guttermouth, went on tour with them. And... Uh, so we'll kind of start, I guess, at his upbringing, his how he uh, how he became Adam the Woo. Um, from his videos, he talks about how he was raised by a preacher. They moved a lot. Uh, he spent time in Oklahoma, and then eventually, his kind of his formative teenage years were spent in uh, around the Orlando area in St. Cloud, uh, Florida. Uh, he was homeschooled, and uh, I think a lot of a lot of his uh, I think he's, you know he has a lot of tattoos, a lot of stuff that you wouldn't think a son of a preacher, the homeschool kid would have. But uh, man, he doesn't drink. He says he doesn't curse in his videos. Um, very family friendly. Doesn't smoke. Very family friendly. Yeah. The kids love him. Um, but I think a lot of maybe the tattoos and stuff comes from maybe his. Uh, Exploring himself after he got out of the upbringing, maybe when he yeah, being uh, being somewhat rebellious as a kid. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, when you when you have kids, uh, you know, they're gonna of course fight you back and talk back to you, and you know, in whatever form uh, they choose. Now, a lot of people I noticed. Uh, we'll get into some of the, the stuff later on. You know, later on in his in his video and his vlogging career, um, but I did notice a lot of people. Uh, commented over the summer, especially when he moved to California again for the second time. Um, they were commenting, "Are you gay? Is is Adam Lebu gay?" and all this kind of stuff like this. And you can look back at his old videos and tell that he was definitely not gay. No, um, I don't know where the part about him being gay because I don't honestly. Um, I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to BS anyone out there who's watching this. Um, I don't see anything gay about him. Now he. 
some of his videos that I've watched, uh, he seems to be very childlike. Uh, yeah. A little annoyingly childlike, um, especially with the Disney stuff. Um, but going back to those early uh, videos, uh, he had some chicks in there. Some really attractive uh, I mean, chicks, to, to yeah, say the least. He was, uh, he was in it to win it. Uh, some very good looking, uh, what was the one? Those name you were um, Miss Electra? Miss Voltage or something like that. Very, very nice. A fine piece of work. So I think probably that a lot of that was probably from playing in the band, having Four, some groupies, yeah. and and he's like, they like, what do you do besides playing in the band? He's probably like, I'm out exploring stuff. You want to go with me? Sure. And then why not? Uh, why not? Um, so I, I really don't think that the people saying that he was gay is. I think that's complete BS. I don't think yeah, trolls. Did. You got trolls. You got haters. They'll say whatever they want to say. You know because this channel is family friendly, so he's not again like we. Explained, he's not going to cuss. He's not going to uh, be a bad, quote unquote, uh, not a role model, but somebody bad that you don't want your kids to watch. <laughs> kind of <Right>. like me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Mr. Bugatti. I, I wouldn't want my kids watching me. So. But uh, so he does a lot of different subjects, and that's that's one of the things people like and dislike about him. Uh, the subject matters he does. For me personally. I love his, uh, when he's out traveling uh, the back roads and getting, one thing Adam does really well, I think he, he really researches the area he's going into, he edits very well and he shoots uh, very good videos. And uh, for me, I love seeing the, the back road stuff. Uh, I can't stand the Disney World stuff. Uh, it's been done over and over and over by so many vloggers and him included, he's probably done 300 videos on, on Disney properties and uh, for, so for me when those come up I would always tune them out and it's not I just that's not my subject matter um, some of the other stuff he did the movie locations I really like um, a lot of them because I'm about the same age as Adam I'm a couple years younger um, so some of the stuff like uh, when he was going in and doing uh, PB's Big Adventure I mean that was a popular movie when I was you know how I rolled um Ernest goes to camp. I thought it was really good. Um, is, is Ernest still alive? Ernest died. Uh, the guy who played Ernest died of lung cancer. Oh man! Because he likes to smoke a lot of cigarettes. Oh, oh, that's not good. No, and Adam Lou will tell you: don't smoke cigarettes. Don't drink cigarettes. Do cigarettes things. are bad. Bad. Um. So it's pretty much you know where where is Adam the best? Uh, it's it's you've got to. Yeah, you know, that's why I think he has such a big following because he does so many topics. Somebody's gonna like that topic, not like the other. Like this topic, not like the other. Right. And uh, so that brings him a lot of extra viewers. Uh, I think the family-friendly stuff is good because then people bring their kids to meet him, and he has this following that's gonna continue on. Mm -hmm. um, now we get we get more into the uh, the last few years of Adam. Um, there's a couple of time periods I really liked Adam. I liked when he was on, the way I discovered Adam. I was I travel a lot when I'm off work. And I would look up locations. And every time I would Google a location, an Adam the Woo video would pop up. I'm like, I want to look at, uh, you know, where they filmed that scene from PB's Big Adventure. Boom, it pops up. Yeah. I want to, I, I want to see. Uh, uh, I'm in Savannah, Georgia. You know, what's to do? Boom, you know, Adam the Woo video pops up. I'm in. Uh, take the kids to Orlando. Boom, and Adam the Woo video pops up. I'm He's like, everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, who is this guy, Adam the Woo? And how's he? How's he been everywhere? So that was uh, that's kind of the way I discovered him about three or four years ago. That way, and I started watching his daily vlogs probably in the 700s. And there was a there was an element to that that I really liked, and it was the fact that he was living simply. He was doing what he wanted to do. And when I started watching him, he was in um, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge area, and I thought it was it was super cool because I've I've been there three or four times when I was a kid. I took my kids there, and I was like, that's awesome. You know, this guy's out here. He's just he's living. Uh, his his own life. Nobody's telling him what to do. He didn't have to punch a clock. He's making it. And I think there was an element to him when it was the the live simply. Uh, uh, that, that was kind of a draw for a lot of people uh, to him. And I think a lot of that changed once he got into uh, <clears throat> later on. He, he he moves to to Anaheim, which kind of took the the luster out of it for me because it wasn't so much traveling. And and I understand the guy just because you're vlogging every day you still have to have your own life and do the things you want to do um, 
I could not imagine personally vlogging every single day of my life for over five years, a daily vlog. No, you get uh, mentally burnt out. I mean, oh, yeah. there was times where I was making videos every day, even two or three a day. And then uh, some stuff happened in my life where I got kind of depressed, so I didn't upload for a while. You know, I, I still do videos every day, but to be on the road for all those years and more times than not by yourself, and then, uh, you know, he got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, negative feedback about him moving to Anaheim and eventually settling in Hollywood. Uh, people were mad and upset that he was not, uh, you know, careening around the country showing this and showing that. And people have to realize, you know, I mean, I know the reason why people, a lot of people like to watch him is because he shows them places where they, you know, more times than not wouldn't get a chance to go yeah. to. And he shows it in a way um, very cleverly, like almost like how you were saying how like you're there with him. Yeah, you're, you're almost, you feel like you're actually there with him. You're actually talking to the people he's talking to. The way he films is, is, is almost, it's is genius the way he films because it, it puts you in that time and that place and... The little old lady at the the museum or the the diner that he's talking to, you feel like you're there with him, experiencing that with him, and I think that's that was a huge draw. Right. And on the, but on the other hand, at some point after years and years of doing that, you know, and you can see through he's went through relationships, he's had breakups, and you're still vlogging every day. And I couldn't imagine after breaking up with a girlfriend or whatever, and then having to vlog that day and the next day, and you're going through a lot of emotions, and then having to deal with that every day and still put on the happy face for the public. It's got to be. It's gotta be hard, you know. YouTube uh, stops being fun when it almost seems like a job, and you know he was making yes. money on the, off the ad rev, so of course he needs to keep generating that. Yeah, by making new videos every day, um, whatever he has on his Patreon, people expect on his Patreon. Hey, I'm paying you two dollars and twelve cents a month. I want new videos constantly. I want to be entertained. So he right. has that on his plate. And after a while, it just, it, 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 it's like a mountain of, of crap that all, and it, you know, he, he, he I, I'm not saying he snapped, but he just got a little no, tired, it, it he had happens. to take a break. I think that happens, I think the reason he, he went to LA, I mean, it was, a, it was a controversial move, you know, the, the move into LA thing I think was real controversial, because people did not want to see that, he had just bought Large Marge, the... Uh, about a year ago, it was in December last year, about a year ago, and some of his most compelling videos is when he got the RV and he struck out through the deep south, ended up going all through Texas and back around, meeting up with the carpetbagger, and there were some really good videos there, and I think people really enjoyed those, that, and when he all of a sudden just, uh, pretty much unannounced, he went to his sister's house, next thing you know, he's on a plane, and he's I'm, I'm buying a property in or I'm renting a, a property here in uh, in Hollywood, and I think people were like, okay, and they start watching it for a week or two, and it's the same thing over and over. And I think for him, it was just, I am burnt completely out. You know, I can't do this anymore right now. I need a break mentally. So he's doing a lot of shorter vlogs and just him walking around where he could go enjoy his day. And uh, then he started getting the feedback because of Patreon. Oh, people yeah. are people are putting money in, and he's getting that lash back of, hey, I'm donating ten dollars a month. I'm donating twenty dollars a month. Oh, where's where's I'm not getting my money's worth, and, uh, and that's gonna be hard to deal with, you know. And he, he had made a video about that he was stopping, and I love this video that he did. I'm stopping Patreon, so he he's saying don't don't give me any money, don't subscribe to my Patreon, but of course he doesn't. Uh, Cancel out his Doesn't account. Doesn't cancel out the Patreon. Oh, of course not. Well, I mean, well, I, well, how much was he getting at, on his Patreon? I'm not sure how much he's getting. I know he had like six or seven hundred Patreons. I think at he the was time. getting about fifteen hundred bucks a yeah, month. Yeah, fifteen hundred. He, he was getting almost two thousand yeah. dollars a month on his Patreon. And at that time, I made a video about why in God's name would you shut your Patreon down? It doesn't make any sense. Let yeah. me explain something really quick. I am all for the quote unquote what they call e begging when you're uh, begging for money from your subscribers. So to speak, you're begging. I'm all for it yeah. because the way I see it is, you, you know, you like somebody on YouTube, you like, you enjoy their channel, you enjoy their work, and you want to kind of send them money. You know, I, I've sent, uh, I've sent a couple people from YouTube, like you know, on the super chat, yeah, a couple times. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, you know, I support my fellow YouTubers. You know what I mean? I sent five bucks and two bucks, whatever. I don't care. Um, 
And I was like, why in God's name would you want to stop your Patreon? Why would you want to do that? And, you know, that doesn't make any sense. I I say like this. uh, If someone wants to give you 20 bucks, take it. Yeah. Take it. Uh, Because you are offering a service. You're entertaining them. And you're, you're... Showing them things that they want to see. And Correct. And, and, and one day I hope to partake in this Patreon, this e Uh Right now I don't because I don't need people's money. I work. I work everywhere I go. That's, that's always a given. A- any new city I go to, the first thing I do is I go on Craigslist. And I and find I, employment. And if, and, if there, and if the town is so small where there really is no Craigslist, I go to the supermarket and I look up on the uh, community bulletin board. There. Love the community bulletin board. I love bulletin it. Board. I love it. They need to bring it back into the big cities. I, I really uh, love I, it. I do, I do enjoy that too. Yeah. Heck Especially yeah. small town. You can find a, a place to go dailies for a day or whatever. Uh, I love the community bulletin board. Yeah. So, I, I'm, you know, me personally, I always work and I've always worked. I've been working since I was uh, pretty steadily since I was 18 years old. But, uh, hey, if someone's going to give it to you, take it. That's my, take that's it. my opinion. Well, the thing was, I think that, that's kind of for me. I was, I was a big supporter of, of, of him. I liked his work. Uh, when he came in and denounced Patreon, it didn't sit well with me. It really didn't. It was like, why are you doing this? You know, because at the same time, okay, this this guy, you got to put this in perspective. He has, I'm sure he has a note on on the the large Marge, the RV he drives. Um, he does travel a lot, flies to places to do filming locations. He gets an apartment in Hollywood, which is probably, I don't know, 1500 2000 a month. Or whatever. Uh, I don't know if he has a one-bedroom, because my sister lives in Hollywood. She okay. has a one-bedroom apartment, and she pays uh, 1200 a month, and that is a deal. That is a, like, she's, like, yeah. fortunate that she that she only pays $1,200 a month. So I know pretty much the general area of Hollywood that he lives in, and I promise if he has a one-bedroom, he's not paying any less than 1500 I mean, my friend lives in Hollywood. He has a one bedroom, and he pays fifteen hundred bucks, and he lives in an absolute fantastic dump of a, of a fantastic dump. A fantastic dump, as as is much of Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it is a lot of Hollywood. I mean, for people that have never been there or never lived there, I was born in Hollywood, and I was raised in Hollywood, so I know the streets like the back of my hand. I mean, it has been cleaned up over the last ten years, but um, it, it, a lot of it is a dump, and it's. It, Hollywood, to me, in my personal opinion, is one of the biggest scams there is uh, uh, out there in life. Out there in life. Yeah. So, this has to be a tremendous burden on him. At the same time this is going on and he's announcing Patreon, YouTube is in the, in the midst of demonetizing videos, uh, taking back re- uh, the, the ad revenue for yes, people. Yes, yeah, there are a lot. Big time. A lot, of, a lot of people are hurting. And... Uh, so the, the timing of it just seemed completely off. It seemed like to me that he had finally snapped. You know, it, it's, it got to him. It was too much to handle. Uh, he needed a break. And I could see the, the, the weeks leading up to him stopping the daily vlog was was coming. You could, you could just see it. And the way his videos became more rants, more walking around in one location, staying in one location, ranting about... Uh, There's a couple of rants leading up to it. Uh, he uh, ranted about uh, he was being somewhat of a SJW, uh, which are people I don't really care for, uh, telling you, watch what you say, watch what you put out there on the internet. Yeah, I mean, you just see, he was fed up uh, with the whole with everything. For I'm while. tired of this. You know. So you know, for, for me. Uh, the, the, the move to LA was not good for if that's your business if you make your living off of YouTube to me you take a vacation you you you, you can announce on your on your stream hey I'm I'm taking a few weeks off go out to LA have a good time go to Disneyland I know he loves Disneyland or whatever yeah and then get back on the road and do what people enjoy seeing what, what what makes your what makes your living for you I mean it's like it's like my job I can't go out and travel all the time because I have a responsibility I have a job to do course, yeah. and, uh, and I think if your job is YouTube and traveling maybe go somewhere for two weeks and get away from it all but, but you still got to remember this is how I'm paying my, my bills you know and that, yeah and I, I, I think a lot of those guys a lot of vloggers and all they, they get in that routine where it's just comes too much and um, they you know the drive that was once there is not there anymore and it's like that anywhere especially like if you're vlogging for five years if I work at a job for five years uh, usually I'm about, I can stay at the job for about three years, and then I, I'm 
I've, I'm just, you get tired of it. You get tired of the same thing every day. You get tired of doing yeah, the same you thing. Want, you want to do something different. You want to do something different. You know, and, and, I, and I don't blame him for wanting to stop the Daily Woo because, you know, he has bills, he needs rent. I don't know if he still has his apartment or he probably sublet it. I'm sure he did. But he does have that note on that RV of his. And at the end of the day, um, money's nice. We all need to make a living. We all need to make money. But uh, your mental health is should yeah. come before uh, any kind of uh, and, financial. And, and with Adam, I don't think he's out for the for the money part aspect of it. I think he needs to pay his bills, of course. And he, yeah, I don't take him as the type to no, be very like a, money hungry no. or, or or anything of that kind. Um, you know, I mean, no, it's nice. It's nice to make a, a nice little living making videos is great. I mean, I, I'm sure that's a dream job for many people. I I almost, I, I kind of had that job for a couple of yeah, months before yeah. I... You, you did. Before I got, you know, but it is what it is. And uh, it's, it's once you have it, it's, uh, you know, keep, keep that. Keep that gig. That's a good gig. Get Very paid, good gig. Get paid to, to uh, show videos. So wrapping things up, I think, uh, um, you know, for Adam, to me, I think he's got the personality... Almost like a, it could almost be like an Anthony Bourdain of showing. Definitely should be on TV. Should be I mean, on what, TV. What, without a, without a doubt. Out, I, would, I mean, this isn't me being fake and phony and being a, a, a blood kisser, a bootlicker, amongst other things. But I've often said he should be on a television show. Mm-hmm. He's much, to me personally, uh, his character is much more um, uh, interesting than Anthony Bourdain or what's that little chubby bald guy? Yes. Uh, What's his name? Uh, I can't remember I his name. S- I want to strangle him. I yes. Yes. I want to. I want to. Um, uh, before we wrap things up, though, I want to. Uh, I wanted to ask you your opinion. What do you think about Adam's friends? Adam's <laughs> friends. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about okay. all his friends? Uh, yeah, what, what um, is it? It's the circle of goodness. Is that what they're called? Yeah, circle of goodness. Now, <laughs> his, his actual friends. Uh, there's there's some characters in there that. Uh, I can't watch their their show. You got to think. Adam's like he's he's into the uh, these these uh, comic con type things, which I can't stand. I hate comic books. I hate that whole fake uh, superhero. I, I liked it when I crap. was thirteen. Yeah, exactly. I'm thirty eight now. I'm not into comic books. And that's I, one, I do still like Japanese anime. I like yeah. that. I watch anime, like especially if it, if it was made in the eighties or nineties. But the, when it comes to the comic book, the dressing up. Uh, Furries, whatever those freaks are, I don't really care for. And that's one of the things I think most guys that are our age, uh, we're close to the same age. We're all in that general Adam. Wait, you're old enough to be my dad. What are you talking about? Almost as dad, but not quite. Um, I'm 20. I can't even. I shouldn't be drinking. You're contributing to my juvenile juvenile delinquency. Don't show that. (laughs) We don't want to. I don't want to go to jail today. Um, But anyway, like like. (laughs) Oh, this is sponsored by. What is this? Settle down, Kevin Spacey. Good yes. lord. So, so, uh, I think that's one of the things that the guys our age kind of, we, we kind of grew out of that stage. And that's one of the things that guys our age kind of have the, it's not really a problem with Adam, but it's kind of like the, the quirkiness of the, the childlike behavior. Which is what I've heard from other people. I, I, I mean, um, me personally, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the types of videos that he does. I like his personality. Travel videos to me, I'm not really particularly interested because I do that. You it, travel, it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like if I'm bald and I'm watching another bald guy uh, about a video about how to shave your head. I'm like, well, I shave my head too, so I kind of don't, I'm not terribly interested. Uh, the, the more of the videos that I watch on YouTube, is anything to do with video games from when I was a kid, when people review them, people talk about them, um, or uh, politics, political right. rants, or channels like mine, where a guy doesn't have a particular um, direction of his channel. He just turns on the camera, and he's just going all over the place. And which is... F-bombs, and, and I love that. I which mean, which is how I came across your channel, because I, I like the, the rawness of just... You never know what you're going to say, you know? Just and, hit, the, and, hit the record button if I'm, if I'm pissed off that day, if I'm angry. Um, you know, I like that. I, I'm not about... To, a lot of people have told me, hey, why don't you like start making more kind of like kid-friendly content? And I'm not saying I'll never do it, but uh, that's just not in my nature. I, I Sometimes right. if I'm angry, uh, I mean, instead of me calling my friend and be like, Wah! you know, I'll just... Hit the record button, uh, let it out, and uh, and, and that's it. Uh, so you know, I, I've watched some of Adam DeWu's videos. You know, I'm not 
you know, like there's a lot of people like that, like and like some of Adam's friends, uh, Carpetbagger, uh, Justin Scard, yeah, uh, Jordan the Lion. Who who else is he friends with? Let's name all these guys. Uh, I want them all out of there. That's the that's the that's the, the main guys. Main guys. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm really not saying they're bad. I just don't really care. I mean, I've watched one Jordan the Lion. Uh, He's okay. Not, yeah. He's actually okay. He's, he's all right. He's all right. He's not. He has some type of a personality. I'm not particularly interested in his videos, but uh, you know, uh, of the of those three, Justice Garb tends to just personally. I, I don't like his style. Uh, uh, I, I, I it, he really just he uploaded a 35 minute video of Disneyland. Cringes, I, I'm not going yeah, to. I just, I'm just, not going to watch that. I, I don't. I can't watch his videos. There's something no. about that that the. the, the the hey, you know the really high pitched stuff, and the, I have uh, never. Just, I, I've watched a Justin Scarred video for about two minutes. Yeah, I'm just I'm not interested. Not I've watched uh, Jordan the Lion. I did watch ninety percent of his video. He went to um, he showed the high school of some movie that was filmed. Yeah, Karate Kid yeah. or something. Uh, Carpetbagger. I've <laughs> Car- Carpetbagger. I, I I've watched one Carpetbagger video, and yeah. that was the one where he was crying about people bullying him, and um, I felt bad for him. That was the only well, video Car- I've ever watched. Carpet Beggar videos. I, I I found him not through Adam, but I found him because I was actually going to uh, the part of the country he lives in, which is uh, the North Carolina, kind of Tennessee, North Carolina area. Oh yeah, I'm actually I might be and going over there uh, next month. I'm, I might be check it out. There's a but yeah, I, I like I, I I do like some of his stuff because it's showing stuff that I actually I really like that part of the country, the yeah. Gall- Gallenberg uh, Cherokee area. And he has a lot of stuff in there in that area, so I do like his content because of that. Um, when he does, when he goes off on some of these other other things, I don't really, uh, I don't watch those videos. But the ones that are on subject, the subject matters I like, yeah. I do watch. Um, yeah, well, he says, you know. I think a lot of people, a lot of people last year, they got a. Uh, the the trolls seem to got uh, to every all of those guys last year. And they all uh, seem to kind of defend their, each other, which I didn't really understand. It's like, you know, there's God. always going to be naysayers. On this video I upload here, there's going to be five or six people that talk a bunch of crazy stuff. I, you know what? Me personally, I love yeah. trolls. I love my trolls. And yeah, sure, they could be douchebags at times. But at the end of the day, guys, uh, you know, toughen up. <laughs> yeah, toughen up because, hey, I mean, I get trolled too. I mean, look at me. I got big ears and a bald head. I'm overweight. Uh, you know, I, I look like I'm, I'm about to be on the FBI's top 10 terror list if this beard gets any fuller. I mean, there's trolls. Are, trolls are out there to make you feel bad, so they can feel better about themselves. Uh, just uh, you know, water off a duck's back. That's my opinion. That's the way it's got to be because it's it is what it is. Uh, yes. There's there's people out there that just want to. They have nothing else in their life but to do that, and you have to realize that that's what this that's that's how they get their Trust rocks me, off. You know? No one is no one becomes a troll because they have such a fabulous life. And they're like, oh, look yeah. at me. I have everything. I just want to, you know, go on the Internet uh, with a fake, you know, Google account and just talk random madness to anyone and give them a hard time. Hey, you know, look, uh, you guys got to realize trolls, they, 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 they put out uh, venom because it's in their blood. It's in their, it's I mean. in their blood. Usually, Bad analogy, but you guys know what I mean. And a lot of them, they're... they're they're envious of, of Adam or whoever they're jealous. Yeah. Just, they're getting to be he gets out paid to be, do what he gets paid to be a, a cult and, um, celebrity on YouTube. Yeah, and fantastic. That, but, but what they don't realize is that uh, when he started, he did not have the 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 power of the ad revenue because he didn't have any subs yet. Yeah, he sold everything he owned and struck out and said, "I'm going to try this," and I hope hope to God it works. You know, and it, and, it, and through persistence and working at it and doing lots of videos, it finally started paying off for him. Uh, so to be uh, I guess to be envious is one thing, but to be a, a, a hater of that, I mean, give the guy some credit. He did go out and did it for himself. He made it happen. You know? Exactly. All right, guys. Anything else before we wrap this, this up? This damn video is almost 30 minutes. Now, yeah, this, now, now, I will say this. I don't feel. I usually feel bad when I make a long video, but I don't feel bad about this one because this is something that you can listen to while you're, like, vacuuming your yeah. apartment or... or, or or cleaning your toes or whatever. So you just put this on on your speaker and just kind of listen our, to us talk driving about it. to uh, Podunk, Texas, like where yeah, I live you're, you're, for my job. Yeah, you're driving yeah. your kids to soccer I practice. This, put some, like, I put on a 30-minute video yeah, and listen to it on the way Yeah, home. listen to it. You know, you're, you're just, you veg out. You hate your life. Uh, your wife doesn't respect you. 
your kids uh, are not what you thought they would turn out to be. Uh, you, you know, you're just kind of, you're not really caring about your life, but you just sit back, relax, uh, cuck out and enjoy this video. Right. So you guys leave your comments below. Uh, there, there, I'm sure there will be a lot of kids watching this, so try not to say anything too crazy on the comments. I know that that's going to be hard for some the of you kids. trolls. The kids! What about the kids? So, uh, uh, try to keep it somewhat civil in the comment section. But yeah, we'd love to hear what you what you think about it, uh, what you think about Adam, uh, other topics that we didn't touch on that you want to mention, leave in the comments Any, section Anyone below. that we mentioned about Adam's friends, comment below, like, what do you think about them? Do you like them? you hate them? Uh, I'm going to be leaving uh, a few comments myself. Yes, a few comments. So, <laughs> under, uh, it'll be under a black uh, muffin top, so you may not catch that. But. Yes. Okay, yeah. you guys. Oh, one more thing before we, before we check out here. Uh, check out my band. It's uh, Knowledge of Proportion, and it is on SoundCloud. Please check that out. I think you, you guys will enjoy the music. You guys have a great evening. And By the way, this guy, uh, when he was in his band, very popular in Dallas. We were. We were pretty big you back guys, in the early two thousands. Uh, you could have been the next. Uh, we we started in ninety nine. Godsmack. Who knows? To about two thousand four or five, and we we hit it about a ten year a decade too late because of our age. We was not. You know, I was born in the seventies and not the sixties, so yeah. I missed the nineties of, of being able to be a rock star because I was uh, still a teenager. Um, but if we'd, have, if we'd have hit a little earlier, maybe who knows? And and now who rules the musical landscape? DJs. DJs. I hate DJs. I I got a couple of choice words for you guys, but there's you know possibly children, children watching this video, so I'm not gonna go and tell you guys what I really think. But you you know my subscribers, you guys know what I really think. But you. <laughs> check it out. All right, you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was long, but uh, hopefully you guys uh, you know whatever. So. We'll catch you next time. Uh, all right, yeah, I got to go wash these uh, dishes, right? Oh, yeah, dish time, yeah. Uh -huh.